been hanging out with my friend Wayne Brady. Yes, sir. Wayne, you're such a busy guy, and you're also single. With your schedule... Why do you celebrate every time you say his name? <laughs> it's unbelievable. Why not? Wayne, yahoo! <laughs> you know what? Let me have something, Boris Kojo. Look at you. Let me celebrate for a second. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> well, with your very busy schedule, do you only date women in the entertainment industry? No, just lumberjacks. Just there you go. <laughs> lumberjacks. No, um, uh, I, I've dated women in the entertainment business. It hasn't always worked out for me because this is a very selfish business, as mm -hmm. you guys know. So that's why the two of you, all joking aside, you are an anomaly to find a balance of happiness, to be able to work together. You've got your kids to do the whole thing. It's hard to find mm -hmm. someone in your business because you're both trying to go for self. And I've got a daughter, so as a dad, mm -hmm. I just can't let anybody in my sphere. So I will date a, a scientist or somebody that works at, you know, a blue college, whomever, as long as they were a certain type of person, brains, and caring and uh, beauty. Well, it would. I've seen all your exes. They're gorgeous. That wouldn't be. Well, it doesn't hurt, you know. But if someone, <laughs> it doesn't hurt. But pretty wears off after a while. I've had an ex or two as well. It's like I'm beautiful. Who was like, that? Oh, you say to oh my God, Godzilla. No, I can't. So. <laughs> Well, when well, you're talking about Miley, your daughter, uh, yeah. uh, how does she feel? How, how does Miley feel about you dating? What, does she have input? <laughs> uh, yes, Miley is a tribunal of one. Wow. Uh, and, and, and it's not that I give her the total power, but the way that I see it, mm -hmm. my house is her house as well. My life is her life Absolutely. as well. So when you bring an outside entity into your child's life, they should have a say to a degree. And, mm -hmm. and so uh, you want someone that'll intermingle. So when she sees someone, she's like, oh, she's pretty. And then one time I dated someone that she, that she thought was too young for me. She thought, oh, that's so cute. We like the same movies. <laughs> <laughs> and then walk, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? We're going we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna to put that theory to a test because okay. uh, my wife and you. Um, we love you, improv. You guys both are in love with improv. So I'm going to read some uh, scenes here for you. Okay. And you're gonna play them out. But the tricky part is you will have to incorporate one very specific word in whatever you're doing okay. that has nothing to do with what you're playing. <laughs> okay. And we'll see if you can do that. Are you ready? All right. Are you but ready? What's the scenario? The scenario, well, I'll read it out to you in a second. Oh, I need okay. my words, please. Thank you. Here are the words. I'm gonna pull the words. You're the daddy. All right. You're the daughter, the teenage okay. daughter. Wayne's word. <laughs> I, Wayne's your word. Your gonna call me daddy. Wayne's word. <laughs> In the scene, Boris. This is not improv yet, until I say so. Oh, gotcha. Your word is udders. You have to incorporate udders. OK. Your word, happy girl, is rooster. And the scene is, Wayne, you bring home a new date right. for dinner, and Nicole, your daughter, does not like her. All right. Ready? Action. Um, hey, sweetie. Hey, Dad. I've uh, got someone that, that I want you to meet. I met her already. She's in the house. And she's cackling and fake laughing, and she sounds like a rooster. Sweetheart, your, your dad is lonely, and he wishes to drink from the udders of happiness. <laughs> OK, OK, OK. Cut. That was good, OK. <laughs> That was okay. Um, Next scene. Okay. All right. But let me finish That's the whole image of the cow <laughs> okay. of joy, the others of happiness. Nicole, your dad takes your cell phone away because you gave him attitude. Mm. Okay. Your word is gynecologist. <gasps> Mine is? Yours. Okay. And your word is <laughs> ratchet. <laughs> and uh-huh. Dad? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Listen. What? I can explain. Please do. OK. Uh-huh. Me and Jamila, we went to, um, um, she wanted to, um, do you want me to tell you the truth? I would love for you to stop. You know the <laughs> thing is, ever since you've been hanging out with Jamila <laughs> and all your little ratchet friends, <laughs> I've seen the videos. I've seen the videos. You're like, hey, I'd say that. Tell me. Is that we went to the library 
library and then it was locked and we had to break in because she's studying to be a gynecologist and she wanted to get some books out of the library. Okay, okay, okay. That was convincing. Huh? That was convincing. Yeah, that was a drama. Yeah. Okay, scene number three. Wayne, you have a lady friend over and Nicole walks in on you making love. Oh. That's Nicole, your word is burrito. Oh. <laughs> Wayne, your word is stroganoff. <laughs> and action. Ah, uh, meatballs, stroganoff, <laughs> tortillas, flan. Um, Dad? Oh, I was, we were, we were cooking. <laughs> okay, well, why, why are you tying her up like a burrito? <laughs> I was putting a robe on her and shoving her out. Sweetheart, you should never have to see something like this. Okay. I, I am so sorry. You are so gross. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cut. Good job, guys. Wait. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> you are strong enough. <laughs> you can count on that, Wayne. Let's Wait. make a deal. And whose line is it anyway? And do not miss Wayne on tour now. And we'll be right back. Woo!